Hello nice humans, I am here with a different video to share today. I thought I would start sharing uh, some journal with me when I'm working in my personal journal. Um, this is the journal that I take with me when I go places, it's the journal that I write in at the end of the day when I've got things that I want to record, it's the one I work in uh, when I'm sitting on the couch, uh, it's where lots of little bits and pieces end up getting stuck. Um, it doesn't have a particular aesthetic. I don't generally use like scrapbooking supplies in it. This is usually um, just bits and pieces of ephemera, uh, cute paper that I like, washi tape, stickers, that kind of stuff. And this is actually my favorite kind of journaling and I don't generally share it, <laughs> but I thought I might. Um, so let's give it a go. <laughs> Um, you can see here I have a bunch of bits and pieces from um, a new traveler's notebook that I bought, so a new cover, um, and it's one that I had been eyeing off for a while and that I'm very, very into. <laughs> it's the special edition one from Narita Airport in Japan, and I'm just very much in love with it. So I kept all of the little bits and pieces as well as the... Um, uh, extra bits that I bought when I made the purchase. I bought some extra washi tape and things like that. And I also bought it from a shop that likes to send extra little bits and pieces along um, with your order. So that little um, luggage tag there, for example, and that little brass colored sticker, they're all little extras. So I bundled them all together. Um, you might've seen before that they were inside a little folder. That's actually a Hobonichi Weeks cover. Um, and I don't use Hobonichi Weeks size for journaling or um, for like my planner or anything, but I really love that cover and I use it as almost like a little wallet that I keep ephemera in um, before it ends up in this journal. And it's usually got quite a lot more in it than you saw just then, but I was reasonably up to date with my journaling at this point. So um, this was pretty much all that was in it, but it's usually stuffed with, you know, receipts and bits of packaging and like um, what else ends up in there? Uh, cute pieces of tissue paper or labels of things, you know, that kind of stuff. And then I will keep it sort of vaguely chronological and it will just go into the journal um, when I sit down to write in it, which is most days. I will write in here on most days. Um, yeah, so basically I have all my bits and pieces here ready to go and I want to find a way of making them all uh, fit, basically. So I've got um, like the description of how to care for the leather on the traveler's notebook cover um, and I've got the little piece of paper that says what came in the pack um, and all of that kind of stuff and I want to keep all of it. But obviously there's only so much real estate on the page. So I've reached for a little envelope and I'm going to use that to create a little spot to tuck them into. Um, and this is something that I do in my other memory keeping as well. I'll often use pockets and envelopes and tip ins and all that kind of thing. And that's certainly something that carries over into this journal as well. Um, and I do it very often. That means my inserts end up getting quite fat, which I love. I love the kind of crinkly edges and um, chunky little books. And that's why I love Traveler's Notebooks, especially because there are only so many pages in them. So you can make them quite fat without having to worry about lots of pages kind of getting wasted at the end when you really can't write in it anymore, if that makes sense. So you can, it's, it's a good balance, um, between having enough pages in there for you to work with and not so many that you can't collage in it comfortably, um, for fear of making it, uh, unwieldy, I guess. So that's why I love this format. And also just the size, the size is really practical and appealing as well. So these are some little bits of um, paper that I'm using just to create some collaging around the main bits of ephemera. That grid was actually a, um, it's sort of a sticker, but it's a removable sticker and it had a perpetual calendar on it. But when I was filling the dates, I accidentally messed it up. So I tore those bits off and binned them and I kept the part that had the grid on it because that's the kind of thing that I really like to journal with and I knew that um, it would get used. So I chucked it in my little stash and it is um, getting another life here on this page. I also have a piece of um, an old book page that has some little yellow flowers on it, which again, uh, long and skinny, not much use in and of itself, but really nice as an additional layer. So they're going in there. And they, I feel like they go really nicely with what else is happening on the page, like yellows and um, kind of vintagey paper colors and sort of warm tones, I guess. So they're all going in. 
And because this is an envelope and it is going to be interacted with, which means that, you know, sometimes as you're pulling things in and out of it, you can kind of tug it a little bit and things like that. I'm making sure that I put a little bit of extra adhesive on there um, to um, make sure that it doesn't come away from the page. Uh, so yeah, that's going on there as well. Um, and it also helps, like I said, because these books do get a bit fat, the pages do bend a little bit. And if it's going anywhere near the spine, it can curve in a way that makes whatever you've stuck down come away as well. So I made sure that I um, put the tape on it for that reason as well. So Traveller's Notebooks do have a kind of naturally vertical orientation, right? They're taller than they are wide. So I often find myself cutting things long and thin and um, sort of emphasizing that verticalness <laughs> that they have. And I'm quite cool with that. And I feel like I definitely do that a bit on this page. And that's partly because of the shape of the things that I have to stick in. Um, I always work with the shape of whatever I have found. And sometimes that requires a bit of creativity. Um, and sometimes it just sort of naturally fits. And that's part of the fun. So yeah, that's all good. I've got this washi tape, which is from the a collaboration between Starbucks and the Travelers Company. So two of my absolute favorite things. So <laughs> I obviously needed that washi. So I'm putting a little sample of it in there. I almost always put like swatches in when I get new washies. Um, and they almost always end up in this particular um, journal in my personal journal because I just love playing with them. Like you, you don't want to buy washies and then stick them straight into, you know, whatever you store them in. You want to get them out and have a have a play and see, you know, how the pattern repeats and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's, I, this is one of the things that I use these journals for as well. Um, I love this sticker. The color of it is beautiful. I love that it's kind of embossed and it's also from the Starbucks um, collaboration. So again, favorite things together. <laughs> um, and I tore the little end off it um, to make it the right length for this little spot. And I'm going to use that little torn part in a second on the other page and that will bring that shiny brass color over to the other page. So I'm pretty pleased about that. You can see that I'm not giving myself heaps of room to journal in here. Some days in this journal, I will write quite a lot and I'll fill up whole pages and sometimes I'll go over more than one page. It'll just be journaling till I'm done. And other times I just like sticking in the things that I have to play with, right? And I'm just letting the ephemera do the talking. Um, I rarely do a page with no journaling on it, but you can see that I haven't actually left myself heaps of room for that here. If I had found that I had more that I wanted to say, I would have been able to stick it into that little envelope. So I kind of had that in the back of my mind as well, that I didn't need to worry too much about journaling space because I pretty much could just put more in if I wanted to. But basically I just wanted to say that I had wanted this TN for a while and I bought it and I was really happy and it was really beautiful. And that was pretty much the extent of it. So um, that was easy to, um, to fit in. I do change the orientation of my writing in these journals. Um, I really like the way that that looks. And again, it allows me to work with what I've got stuck on the page. So it keeps things, uh, nice and easy, um, and relaxed, I guess. So that's always fun too. Um, and this is another one of my favorite things to do. You will have seen me, um, if you saw the video, uh, you will have seen me do this, in my junk journal as well. Um, I like to make titles or headings or just, you know, whatever else in terms of like use of words and phrases. I really like to be able to um, brush letter them and then fussy cut them out because then you've kind of got your own DIY um, ephemera, right? So it can be like a die cut or a sticker. Um, and I really like that. And it's partly because I like the way that it looks and the flexibility it gives me to move things around if I want to. Like um, once you've written it on the page, it's on the page. And sometimes once you've written it down, you're like, actually, I don't like it there. I would have preferred it if I'd put it somewhere else. So this gives me that flexibility as well, which I'm really pleased about. And also I'm reasonably new at brush lettering and I don't always get it right. And being able to do it on a piece of paper that's not actually in my book um, lets me have a couple of practice goes if I want to. Um, and you know, that's not the end of the world. If you do it in your book and you mess it up, you can always stick something over it, right? It's not like you've ruined your page and your journal and you have to bin it. But I, there's something just psychological about, for me, about being able to like have it on something that's a little bit more um, 
impermanent and ephemeral. <laughs> so it just takes the, the, the stress out of it. The, the degree of risk feels a, a fair bit lower. So um, that works really well for me. So from both a practical and an aesthetic perspective. So that's always good. Um, I sort of felt like this bottom corner was a little bit light colored. So I've decided that I want to put a little bit of washi down there. So I'm grabbing one of my Kita washies. Um, I'm obsessed with these things. They are they come in these little books of like pre-cut washi strips and they're just beautiful. I've, and I've been collecting them for a little while now and I keep them in that beautiful little folio and I can flip through them and it just brings me so much joy. <laughs> um, so this is a really plain one, actually. It's literally just like a light kind of um, latte color. Um, and I'm putting one strip down the bottom and then the leftover bit is just getting tucked in here next to the tag. And I just needed to use some tweezers to uh, get it tucked right in underneath. Um, so that was easy enough. And that's the finished layout. And that's kind of the journaling that I do in this particular journal. So I hope you liked getting a peek at this. I am planning to share a bit more of these because it's fun and I really enjoy seeing in other people's journals as well. And I feel like um, it's fun to just be a part of sharing that too. So yeah, um, make sure you like and subscribe if you would like to see more of this and more other memory keeping stuff. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.